So when I came into this protest, I had a few goals about how I was going to act. Um, I wasn't going to, I had seen how some people had acted in some of the previous protests. Um, some people had tried to obstruct people from getting on and off the uh, trains. Uh, I saw one or two videos about that. I saw one video of the guy that actually like jumped on a train, kind of, and that was guy is a fucking idiot. And uh, I hope people don't see that and think that everybody was like that. But uh, my goals when I came to the protest was not to do anything that was illegal. I wasn't going to do anything illegal. I didn't want to get arrested. I just wanted to show my presence. If the cops tried to prevent me from doing something that was legal, I was going to make sure that you know they knew I was being perfectly legal and uh, film as much as I possibly could. And, uh, you know, if I see anything that was protesters were doing wrong, I, I would have definitely stepped in. Um, and, uh, yeah, if the police were arresting people, I just wanted to make sure that the police were doing it, you know, for legitimate reasons. So uh, I tried to ask the cops a couple times when I saw them arrest people why they were arresting, but, you know, they don't answer those questions. This is what they do. So who's going to explain why he was arrested? Anybody? That is by far the greatest part of this protest. Only in San Francisco. So I get ahead of this bus. Only in San Francisco 
will you see a protest against police with two old dudes in speedos and one completely naked. All right, one guy in a speedo and one guy completely naked. That only in San Francisco. That is amazing. San Francisco is awesome. You know what that guy just said was actually really good. He said some, he said, uh, "Why do these pe why do the bar police need guns if they only want to use them to kill people? Because that's what guns are for. Guns are for killing people. So why do they have guns?" I don't agree with tasers. I think tasers get overused as well. But if anything, they should not have guns and just tasers. But you know, even that, I don't agree with. Oh, the British police don't have guns. They seem to be getting along fine. You know, in Britain, when they want to stop you for a, for a traffic stop, they literally just walk out into the road and put in, and like walk in front of the car. Like that's all they do. They just walk out in front of the road. And I'm sure they have cars too that chase people, but oftentimes they'll be sitting on the side of the road and instead of following you to pull you over, like most police officers do, they wait till you go by and then they follow you, they would actually... Tension among the ranks. These people are definitely not unified or organized. It's more like a random gathering of random people. Not really like an organized protest. Just like random people decided to show up. These guys just want to dance. This guy really wants to walk on the street. It's like, hey, move for the ambulance! Move for the ambulance! Just let the ambulance go through. Move for the ambulance! Yeah, this is the shot right here. Striped shirt. Oh, that guy.
bike lane right there? Hey, cops! Isn't that a fucking bike lane? Cops! Cops! Out of our bike lane! Uh, if I'm, I'm pretty sure you know, bikes can go on the road. So you guys should be perfectly fact, you guys legal. Want the bike. So they're actually making them do something illegal right now. <laughs> fucking pussy! Yeah. Bike! Bikes are allowed on the street! Bikes are allowed on the street! We pay your fucking rent! We pay your we salary! We pay your salary, you motherfuckers! Fuck you! Killing us! Killing the same people who pay your fucking salary! Imagine that! Fucking cowards is what you are! Look at you with your baton and your gun, just out here shooting people, raging violence! What's that way? See that look of anger? See it? See it on his face? Please don't he just shoot. wants to beat you up. Because that's how he's been taught to act don't like the shoot, rest. Man. Fucking violent. Spread the love. You won't do it violent the love. Violent Spread mentality. Spread the love, officer. You guys yeah, are like violent. Don't shoot, man. Don't shoot. Me down. Yeah, when I'm all alone. Be part of the solution. It's like somebody else is getting arrested. Just keep following orders like the little coward you are. That's what you do. You just Protect and serve. Last time when you guys hit me with a dick, yeah, at this point, it's only the police that are walking in the street. There aren't even any protesters in the street. Trying to go through this walk, crosswalk. I'm trying to go through the crosswalk. Hey, it says walk, doesn't it? The fuck off, man. So they're walking up the street and down the street. First they're walking with traffic and now they're going against traffic. Some dude literally just walked up to that guy, pushed him and said, fuck you hippie, walked off. And uh, they didn't do anything. Cops just stand, stood there. But he didn't really hurt him, he didn't really injure him, he just like pushed him. Get a so. job man, get the commute hours. I have a job. So they got a little riled up at this intersection, they stopped for a second. And then they knocked over a whole bunch of trash cans. At least it's not damaging property. Alright, so uh, after that my camera went dead and I wasn't able to film anymore. I, I did have my iPhone. Which has, uh, which I could take pictures with. Sadly, it was a original iPhone, so I didn't have the uh, video camera. But um, they were walking down uh, Mission, and they came upon uh, a Y intersection that headed towards uh, City Hall. And they started cheering, "Let's take City Hall! Let's take City Hall!" And they all started uh, going down that Y intersection towards City Hall. And uh, I was on the opposite side of the street. Half the people were on like the right-hand side of the street, and then half the people were on the sidewalk. And uh, they started going down that street, and they saw that there were some motorcycle cops that were starting to come around on the opposite end of the block and block off the other end of the street. So they all went on the sidewalk, and they started going forward, and then the cops started closing in around them. And some people tried to run towards the, the around the corner where this picture actually is, like right where I'm standing. There were some people running towards my direction, towards this cop. And they went, tried to get around the corner, and the cops just swarmed them and took them down. Uh, they were like tackling people and stuff. Um, at which point, you know, I, I was across the street. You know, I crossed. So I, I waited for the, uh, the, the the signal to go so I could cross the street. And uh, I asked the cops, like, "What the hell are they arrested for? What do they do?" You know, nobody nobody wanted to answer. Nobody said anything. They didn't they didn't do anything illegal. They were not doing anything, as far as I know. Um, Jaywalking, you don't get arrested for jaywalking, you usually get a ticket for that, so whatever they were doing. But, um, so they got about um, 20 or 30 people. You can see them in that line right here. There's a huge line of them all the way from here to here. And, uh, yeah. Sorry, wrong direction. They were even arresting. 
a guy on a bicycle. There's a guy on a bicycle. Now, I don't know about you, but bicyclists are out on the road. So, they shouldn't be arresting any bicyclists for being on the road. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah. So, all in all, it made me uh, really think about protests a lot. And, um... Made me think about how you know, like what's what's a legal protest and what's not, and um, you know, there are certain people that they seem to think the only the only way to protest something is to obstruct and to actually like get in the way of things and like make things stop working, you know. And you know, I I don't really necessarily like that idea because it actually gets in the way of random people that aren't you know involved in the situation at all. They're just trying to go on their on their daily lives. But that's part of the problem is that there's. 50% of the population, and on average, in the United States, doesn't even vote. So they, you know, they don't even give a crap what the hell's going on in the world. You know, last election was like 60%, but you know, sometimes it goes down to 40%. But um, and you know, it's just like the only way to get people aware of the situation is to get in the way of their lives because they're they're not gonna they're not paying attention to the news. They're not gonna care whether it goes on until something gets in the way of their lives and actually stops them, makes them think about what the hell is going on. You know, maybe, yeah, they're thinking, all oh, these dumbass people getting in the way. But in the back of their head, they're thinking, well, why did it start? You know, why are these people doing this? Because of this, of the murders of the police officers and the cell phone service shutdown, which is a reaction to the protests. So, you know, to, uh, to look at people doing things that are, you know, like getting in the way of things, or even in London where there's riots and there's violence, and people think, oh, it's just, you know, people taking advantage of the situation, and, the, you know, the, the, it's not even related to the original the reason for their riots anymore. Well, you know, that's just complete ignorance. That's just to ignore, that just ignores the facts of what happened. You can't ignore what caused the situation and just say, oh, the situation is here and it's just a ridiculous situation. No, it, it got caused by the shootings. So to ignore that is just ridiculous. But, um, it also brings me to, uh, permits. You know, there's, People have uh, parades down Mission Street. People have, you know, like whole events that like block off the entire area for like a whole day sometimes. You know, like obviously there are protests that get permits. Was this, did this protest, I, like, I really don't know. So, you know, like I'm just thinking like, did they try and get a permit? Did they try? Because, you know, I would imagine that they would. I, I don't know. I would hope that they did. But it seems as though they were not allowed to protest. And that to me goes directly against the First Amendment, which states, let me, uh, I have the first, I have my Constitution right here. Now, right there, I don't know if you could read that, if it's focusing on it, but the First Amendment says, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the free freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people to peacefully assemble as to petition the government for a redress of grievance. Now, if you ask me, that makes it seem as though you don't even need a fucking permit to protest. The, the government has no right to tell you that you cannot gather together in large groups wherever the hell you want and protest. You have that right. Peacefully, just because you're getting in the way of something happening and you're st stopping the public transportation system does not make it not peaceful. So I, I, don't, I don't buy that argument. But, um, you know, it, it's, anybody can protest. That, that's, that's, it's in the First Amendment and, it, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's the highest law of the land. And uh, I don't give a damn what some state says or city council says that I can't have a permit because or protest here because you know blocking traffic or whatever. So. But uh, I personally did not go on the streets because I didn't want to get arrested and I don't want to do anything illegal. But I was there and I was filming and uh, I made my voice heard. And anytime I saw somebody arrested, I made sure I was damn clear sure that they I was asking why they were being arrested. I didn't get one single answer. But, but, uh, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, is it illegal to have a large gathering of people? Like, if they were walking on a sidewalk, would that be perfectly fine? Because they'd still be obstructing people on the sidewalk. You know, either way, they're obstructing something. You know, just because they're on the street obstructing cars, that makes it illegal, but being on the sidewalk doesn't. You know, there's always large groups of people going through the city. You can't say that 
people, large groups, can't walk around the city. Like, what the hell is that about? One, one thing it, it does bring me to is uh, the hacking, which I, I don't think I've mentioned much. Um, Anonymous, which I'm showing right now, you know, I'm not, I, I like the ideals of Anonymous. I like their ideals a lot. You know, freedom of speech. But the way they go about it, it's not always the best. It, it, it seems very re reactionary. Like, they're not really thinking through their plans very well. Um, like, the releasing of all the BART uh, people's information. Uh, like, random subscribers. Like, that... It's in the same sense that it gets people thinking, you know, because they're, you know, they're forced to think, oh, my information's out there, you know, but and they, they, maybe they think why it happened. But it, it, in the end, I think it does more harm than good. It's that type of thing, especially where you're releasing people, random people's information, it does more harm than good. Um, releasing the police officer's information, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, like, if anything, that's more justified than the random people's information, but it's still still wrong because there's a lot of police officers that aren't aren't bad it's what they should have done is specifically gone after the people that uh set up the um the shutdown of cell phone service or people that are directly involved with protecting those officers that that uh got that killed those people and got really lo small charges against them like going after the judges you know or something like that or going after the uh officers themselves or something like that, but not not random people that aren't involved and are just trying to live their lives. Yeah. So, uh, all in all, I gotta say, uh, I think it was a pretty effective protest. I mean, there was, there was a small amount of people, and there weren't as many people as they originally were, but I think uh, they got a lot done for what they were trying to do. They were trying to disrupt disrupt things, and they definitely got that done. So, uh, they were pretty effective in that sense. Uh, it definitely made me think a lot about protests, this being my first protest that I've never been to one before, and it made me think, like, what the purpose of a protest is. And, you know, I agree, it is to dis it, it is to disrupt. I'm kind of conflicted about that, because, you know, I'm also on the side of, like, these people from the outside, you know, they just you know, not being in the protest, they just see it pass by, and, uh, they just see it as a nuisance, because they don't really understand the whole, they don't grasp the whole, uh, situation, because they're not really watching the protest from start to finish, they don't see all the things that go on in the protest, but, um, you know, that's the thing, like, a lot of people, they just, they just see it as a nuisance, but, you know, I, I hope they, they think about it, and, and look back, and try and find out why these protests were started, because that's the, that's the important part, and it brings me to that, you know, like, just because there's there's some people out there that behave really poorly, you know, in all circumstances of life, you see this in, in a lot of the United States, we always tend to factor to the lowest common denominator. You know, we it, somebody burns themselves with a gasoline tank, instead of, you know, thinking, oh, that guy's an idiot, we'll say, oh, we're going to make gasoline tanks with a special nozzle that you can't open and it's ridiculously hard to open. But, you know, or like, you know, some guy get, jumps on a train car, so we make it so, oh, no pr no group gatherings of people in BART whatsoever. It's like, there was one idiot. That guy deserves probably to get, you know, a ticket of, or a fine of some sort for that, because that was just ridiculous. But you shouldn't, you know, hold everyone else to that same standard. Every, You know, people, you, you have to factor the highest common denominator, in my, in my common denominator, in my opinion. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a good protest.